Hey, happy day to you folks here. Doug from Sewell Motor Coach in Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Coming at you again from this beautiful, beautiful piece of land here in central Kentucky. And folks, I'm telling you, this is the place to be at this time of the year. Absolutely stunning. May, June, and then the fall, September, October. Some of the most beautiful times on a sunny day here in central Kentucky. We have some beautiful land. I truly am blessed. You are in the heart of bourbon country. You are in the heart of horse country. So if you wanted to jump on a plane or swing in and see us here at Soul Motor Coach, you will not be disappointed in either the coaches that we represent or the area that we represent here. We absolutely love this area. Um, I, I live here, I work here, and uh, hey, and I worship here. So all things uh, considered, beautiful and and wonderful area but today we're talking about this absolutely beautiful tiffin allegro red another beautiful tiffin diesel pusher this happens to be one of my favorites uh, not this particular coach i mean it, it is it is a nice coach i can't say that they're all my favorite because that would be being too much of a salesman and i get in trouble for that enough when so when i say this is one of my favorites this is one of my favorite coaches to sell because this is the coach that I think is the most desirable and best entry level machine out there. And this particular coach actually represents a really amazing value for what you get. So you get late model Tiffin, you don't get it all loaded up with some of that computer stuff that's not necessarily bad, but it's just, it's very easy to use this coach. This is a 2016 Tiffin Allegro Red 37 PA. Uh, yes, 37 PA, seems like I'm a broken record. I think we've got, I think we have, uh, well, this is the only one of this floor plan we have in stock at the moment, uh, but I think we've sold three or four of these just in the last month or two. And I bet we sold probably two or three dozen of these in the last two or three years of this particular floor plan in this kind of year range. So this 16 model is very, very in excellent condition. You can really tell the previous owners took excellent care of it by, multi by multiple factors. One is the condition of the coach in general. Yes, we had it detailed on the outside. When we get inside, we have not touched it. We have detailed it inside, but it is a very clean coach. We'll explain more as we walk in there. Um, yes, I am missing a wheel cap here that the detailers polished the wheels and they didn't put that wheel cap back on good enough. As I'm coming down the road, it's sitting on the side of the highway down there. So we'll get that wheel cap back on, get all that tightened up, but don't you worry about that. But today, I really wanna show you around this coach, and I wanna show you why this coach in particular is such a great value. And it's all about price point, because when you're looking at a class A diesel pusher, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb here, and you can leave a comment down below if you don't agree with me, and I'm fine with that, is I'm gonna say that this is the entry level luxury. I, I say it all the time, sometimes people disagree with me and I'm fine with that, but I think this is entry level luxury at its finest. This is the way to start for a lot of people. This is a four slide, count it, one, two, three, four, quad slide luxury diesel pusher. It's got the 360 horsepower Cummins engine, 3000 Allison transmission, 10,000 pound towing. We're gonna walk around this coach. It's got a stacked washer and dryer in it. It's loaded with, it's got porcelain tile floors. It's got an awning, absolutely beautiful paint on this one, full body paint on it. I mean, just absolutely stunning coach. Now, what makes this such an extreme value is the fact that the previous owner took really good care of it, but they also put 63,000 miles on it. Now you think to yourself, 63,000 miles doesn't sound like a lot of miles for a coach that is what now, oh, I don't know, seven or eight years old. But in the terms of motorhomes, you know, that's kind of on the upper end of what mileage is. But don't let that scare you folks, because on a coach like this being six, seven, even maybe if it was on the road in 15, is eight years old, up to eight years old. So this coach has been driven what I consider to be a perfect amount of mileage. And it's really what I focus on is coaches that have five to 10,000 miles average use per year. And what I find is that coaches are in this condition. Even though we've detailed this coach and it looks beautiful, we haven't touched it inside. You're really getting to see the coach exactly how I received it. There's really no major issues. Everything's working. Of course, we're going to find something wrong with it because that's what we do. We want to make sure we uncover 
anything negative. We want to un, you know, overturn every stone and make sure we find any issues with this coach. And we will find some stuff, but the major stuff is all in really good shape. There are no cracked floor tiles. The furniture is in beautiful shape. I mean, just everything in this coach is just really, really good. It all points to good. Thumbs up on this one. So that's what I'm talking about with really good value because with a little bit higher mileage, comes a little bit lower price point, and that is just natural. To me, this coach, compared to one with 30,000 miles, I think the value personally is the same. I think that this isn't any better a coach or worse a coach than a coach with 30,000 miles. In fact, I could make a case that this coach would have less issues at 64,000 miles than a coach with 30 because this coach has been used more and had more opportunity for things to break on a regular basis and be fixed. And that's what you see with this coach, a previous owner that really has taken the time to keep things in really good shape. The paint's in beautiful shape. It still shines, it's smooth, it's soft. This has brand new uh, tires on it. Well. I take that back. They're not brand new. They're date codes of 2021. So they probably were put on sometime last year, early to mid last year, I would say, um, something like that. But anyway, let's talk more about the coach and outdoor television. You're not losing any of the amenities that you would get in a coach that's 200 plus thousand dollars, but you're going to pay a price that's considerably less in the mid 100. So mid to upper 100, somewhere in that range. Check out our, our website at SewellMotorCoach.com, S-E-W-E-L-L, MotorCoach.com for the current pricing information. You can click a link on there to ask us questions or all that stuff. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you my cell phone number. Uh, if you're ready to reach out and make a, make a deal on this coach, we'll be happy to do that for you. But let's come on in and check this bad boy out. I love how Tiffin does their uh, extra wide entryway step. They make the steps as wide as the doorway. I think that's important. And walking in here, when, one thing I always I try to, to mention on the videos is condition. Obviously, I always mention condition. But I want to mention also the feeling that I get when I walk into a coach. I can tell you whether I personally want to buy a coach as soon as I walk in in the coach. And walking in this coach, you take a deep breath and you smell a coach that's been very well cared for. I don't smell any pets, any cigarettes. I don't smell any musty odors, any water, um, anything like that. I don't smell any negative smells. Uh, in fact, it smells kind of what like a brand new one would smell like. Now let's talk about furniture. The furniture in this coach, as you, if you've been looking at any, you're going to see coaches that have peeling furniture. Not in this one, folks. I don't know if these have already been replaced or what. They are in beautiful shape. All the furniture is in excellent condition. Also, <clears throat> you may note, please excuse me. You may know that you may see a little speck of dirt here or there. I haven't had a chance to get them to sweep this out yet. But I do like to show a coach like this because it does show you exactly the condition of the way the previous owner kept it. And that's huge. Now, this coach was option. This is kind of a, not really an odd option, but kind of an option, um, some options in furniture that you don't typically see together a lot. Typically, you don't see a L-shaped couch and a recliner along with a collapsible booth, uh, booth dinette. Typically when you see the L-shaped sofa, because this comes out, this is a collapsible L-shaped sofa, this comes out, so you can really seat a lot of people. But normally when you see the L-shaped sofa and the recliner, that's normally optioned in with the computer dinette workstation. So I really like the fact that this coach was optioned with the uh, booth. But no further than that, it was also optioned with the collapsible table so this table will actually drop down and those all those cushions fold flat making an additional bed so you can sleep one or two kids here a couple adults here a couple of more adults in the back back there so you can really sleep quite a few people now let's start at the front here and talk a little bit i'm going to breeze through this pretty quick um, this coach does have the option of the magnum inverter it's going to have lead acid batteries Again, 360 Cummins. Uh, let's check the miles real quick here. You're gonna hear some beeping because the engine's not running. Yeah, uh, 64,514 miles. Uh, just drove this coach up the road. It drives very smooth. We do have a really nice backup camera, triple vision with uh, side cameras um, and, a, and a dedicated backup camera. We have a radio with navigation. 
Also, like I mentioned before, we have the 3000 Allison transmission, HWH computerized leveling. Coming on back here, again, we have this L-shaped sofa that pops out and makes a nice L-shape. Um, I'll get a picture uh, for you, so check the pictures at SewellMotorCoach.com. Uh, we'll have this sofa pulled out, and you can see what that looks like. That is a freestanding recliner that comes out and can uh, point any which way you like. We do have a fireplace that does produce heat, a flat, flat, a flat panel, excuse me, flat panel television uh, next to that recliner above the fireplace. We have a beautiful booth dinette as we discussed. And yes, we do have the TV over the driver's head. Also in this coach was optioned with the Corian upgrade, beautiful Corian countertops. We do have a propane oven. I love that option in this coach. Dual compartment sink. Convection microwave, sharp convection microwave oven, a massive amount of countertops. And here's something that you don't see a lot of manufacturers in this price point do is that a lot of them cannot put outlets in the wall because they simply just don't make their walls thick enough. So we have a nice tile black splash here. Coming on back in the coach, we have a Whirlpool French door refrigerator, all in excellent condition, really, really cold water and ice so you're going to have filtered water here and then you're going to have ice in the uh, freezer drawer down there we do have two cabinets two pantry cabinets here all right across from your fridge is going to be your huge and this is what the 37 pa is known for huge shower huge bathroom double bowl vanity with double mirrors next to it right there and both of those are medicine cabinets. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm going to pop the shower open so you can see how massive the shower is. This is a molded fiberglass one-piece surround shower. All in really good shape. All right, that door needs a little bit of adjustment. I'll notate that. We do have a porcelain toilet. All clean. No cracks in the floor tiles. The grout lines are all really, really clean. Coming on into the bedroom... <clears throat> the carpet's all in really good shape. It'll get a little brushed down. It looks like it's maybe dirty, but that's just kind of where the carpet's laying down in some spots and not others. This will need a little, new little latch. It seems that's a common occurrence. King size bed back here with all the decorative pillows and shams. And yes, we do have a stacked washer and dryer. Another LG television back here. And yes, that light. I did not reach over there and pop that light on. Let's just verify that light does work oh yeah there we go so bedside night uh, uh lights there and coming on into the back here we have a huge closet with two lights there should be another one yep both of these lights in the closet are motion so there you have it just a quick video showing you the condition of this coach if you do happen to have any more questions about this particular machine and you just want questions answered please email us uh go to the website at SewellMotorCoach.com, S-E-W-E-L-L, MotorCoach.com. And just send us an email, and we're very quick to respond to that. Um, as always, you can text or call me if you're uh, if you're ready to buy this coach or if you're really, really serious about buying this coach, please feel free to call my cell phone, 859-613-2574. I would love to answer any questions. I believe this coach is going to be priced... 169, um, I, I think is what we're going to end up starting it at. Uh, we do, we are a market-based price dealer, so whatever price we have on our website, whatever price you call and ask us, and we tell you that is our best price. You don't have to worry about negotiating with us. We are going to be the best deal in the market. We offer an extremely good PDI, pre-delivery inspection. So when you purchase this coach, when you sign an agreement to buy this coach. That's when we're at our best. We're going to put it through our shop and do a do a very extensive pre-delivery inspection and repair. Folks, I get questions all the time. Do you service the engine? Do you service the generator? Do you do an inspection on brakes? Do you check the air conditioners? You know, just a hundred different things people ask me about what we do. And the best way I can sum it up is to tell you that we do everything. We check every system and we service everything that could be serviced. Uh, engine, generator, if the transmission needs service, all the filters, 
whatever needs done gets done, including the generator. We even take uh, the propane water heater diodes out and reclean them or put new ones in. I mean, just silly stuff like that that a lot of dealers are just not going to do. We really take the time and do it. I've got two really good technicians, and when we sell one, we just put one in PDI today, 06 uh, Newmar Essex, and it takes 7 to 10 days. On a coach like this, 7, maybe sometimes 7 to 14 days to get it through inspection and uh, repair and detail. And I don't handcuff um, my technicians. In fact, I often, I don't even know what they're doing to them because I tell them to do it, do it and repair it exactly the way that they would do it if they were, uh, getting it ready for themselves. So that's huge. Um, and also, you know, we, we take pride in what we do and this is very, we're very passionate about this. So keep that in mind too. Uh, all that comes free. We don't charge for any of that. Um, of course, we welcome outside inspections. If you want to bring an inspector in, folks, that just saves me time, energy, and money. And we're happy to work off your inspectors as long as they're a RVIA certified inspector on diesel pushers. We would love to have them in, um, you know, and do an inspection. And we'll work off that list. Absolutely. It just saves my guys you know, a whole day's labor of doing an inspection on a coach. So absolutely. We'd love to have your business. We have financing. We take trades. You'll love the way we do business. We're very straightforward. We're very upfront. We're very honest. Um, never afraid to show you anything negative. Really didn't have anything negative to show on this one. Even though it has 64,000 miles, I'm finding, I mean, there's like, I see a few little very piddly things that I didn't mention because we're honestly going to take care of them and you'll never know that they were there. Were, this door needs an adjustment like every 37 PA out there over here in the corner. I'm missing a piece of trim that will fill in there. Um, really nothing else. There's a little piece of trim on the wall. Hey, how y'all doing? A little piece of trim or some, the little wall that's loose right back there. No big deal. The slides work amazing in this coach. Um, yeah, that's, Really nothing negative to talk about here. We got, we're going to get, we, we already have got up on the roof and did a wash and a, uh, a roof treatment on it. Oh, one thing I did want to show you, this is another thing I look for. You don't see it often, but the last time this coach was serviced right here, 812 of 22 when it had 58,000 miles on it. So it was just serviced uh, 6,000 miles ago uh, by the previous owner. So that's a big, uh, that's a big telltale sign that, uh, this coach has been very well cared for. So I'm rambling now at this point, again, the website is SewellMotorCoach.com, S E W E L L MotorCoach.com. I hope y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. And I hope to speak with you soon. Again, if you want to uh, talk to me personally about this coach, 859-613-2574. Thank you again, folks, and take care.